how you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. What we're looking at, just some progress on the, the Maker Lab. Uh, we've got all the wall panels removed. Uh, we had the ceiling panels down. Uh, we've got our penetrations for the roof ready to install the solar panels. Um, we've started moving our electric around so that way we can um, have all of our bays set up to have all of our power hooked up. Um, we removed the extra stuff that was no longer needed. Um, and you can see on the floor, we have all of our bays uh, marked out with uh, painter's tape. So that way we have an idea. We're double checking all of our designs from there. Uh, we've got the, head rem uh, the headboard removed and exposed all the electrical system to the unit. So that way we can assess uh, uh, what's here, what needs to be uh, repurposed, what needs to be redone. Uh, you can see we have our mock-up inverter system over there that we're just getting our uh, distribution area ready for all that. What we're doing here is we are plotting out and measuring for hydraulic lift gate that will, once we cut in a uh, rear man door, the hydraulic lift gate will allow access to the equipment that can then be wheeled out onto the lift gate and down onto the ground. What we're doing here is simulating the width of the door opening and the max maximum size of the cart that will be wheeled out onto the lift gate platform here. So that, the, so that the car can be brought out onto the ground. And what we have to do is make sure that the maximum size of the, of the wheeled cart will then roll out onto the lift gate safely so that it can be lowered onto the ground. done is we've removed the um, trim piece we've cut the back side of the door open we're getting ready to fabricate all new structure for the back for the door and prepping it for the lift gate we're going to be filling in some holes putting some trim back on from where it was taking a look at the side you can see that we've cut the windows out and we're getting ready to restructure them to and build the frames for the televisions. So they're going to be sun bright TVs. They're going to have compartments that open up to the outside so that they can project what they're doing inside on the outside or put any of the uh, curriculum that they're going to be doing on the works uh, for anybody to see from the outside with the uh, workstation that's going to flip out here. And then what we're also doing is um, the big part of the this uh, maker space is that it's going to be powered off of uh, lithium ion batteries. So the vehicle is not going to be running out of school with a diesel generator. We've designed a whole lithium ion battery system with Xantrex to provide power all day long for the school district. And then if the vehicle is driving back, it'll charge back up or they're going to have a shoreline to plug it back in and recharge the batteries. Um, it's a great <coughs> no emissions platform to also show the kids that are learning about it and show them the different technology that can go into it. One of the other components that we're adding on as an add-on is the Xantrex solar panel kit. So the whole roof of the uh, van is going to be covered with solar panels that's going to help augment the charging of the batteries. So there's about 14 different solar panels that are going to be going up on the roof that are going to provide them with additional power charging during the day on the sunny day to help maintain those batteries. Check back with us to see more progress on the makerspace and see about all the different technology that we're putting into this vehicle.